there. Today I'm going to show you how to make an envelope out of almost anything using things that I know you have at home right now. So I'm going to show you how to make a tiny envelope so I can film everything easily, but you can make any size of envelope you want. You're going to start off with a commercial envelope. So just pick a commercial envelope size that you like. This is a little one, like I said, and then just gently pry apart the envelope at the seams. and you should be able to unfold it like this. Then lay it across a piece of paper that you'd like to use to make your envelope. Um, this piece of paper is a printable from the Letter Writer's Complete Resource, but honestly, you can use anything. And if you're concerned that the material is too thin, like a magazine page or something, then you can always put an envelope liner in. Turn the piece of paper around because you're going to be tracing around the envelope and you don't want the tracing lines to show. And then just take preferably a pencil, but I'm using a pen so you can see the lines that I make and trace around the envelope. All right, take the template off and then cut out what you just traced. And that's what this will look like. Okay, at this point, you will want to grab some sort of straight edge thin tool, like a ruler, and then if you have one, and only if you have one, a bone folder. This is a bit of a specialized tool, so if you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. Turn your envelope around, and what you're going to do is fold in this longest flap here, which is going to be the bottom flap. So line up your ruler with the two corners of the flap, and then hold down your ruler with your left hand if you're right-handed, and then just pull that flap over and run your finger along the seam. After you do that, you can use your bone folder to run across the seam and then you'll have this really nice crisp fold. Then do that with the two side flaps. So line up the side flaps with this ruler, fold over, use the bone folder, And then it's the same thing on the other side. And then you'll do the top. So just line up the ruler with the top of these two side flaps, which can be a little bit difficult to see if you're using a mostly white envelope like me. Pull down. You can see this starting to take shape. Now once you're at this point, you'll want to unfold this top flap and glue these two side flaps down. So how I usually do that is I just tuck the tip of my pin under the flap and follow the contour such that when I unfold it, you can see this line that I made, but when it's folded, you can't see that. And that way, we're going to know exactly where to glue, which will come in handy because if you have glue outside of this flap, then of course your envelope can stick to something and if you can't get it unstuck, it won't be any use to you. All right, so then just glue within this area and fold the flap over, give it a nice rub. I would use a glue stick instead of liquid glue um, because that way the glue won't come out at the edge. Usually if you just squirt liquid onto there, it will. Um, one, thing you, one thing you can do to get around that is use a brush to apply liquid glue. And then, what you're going to do 
is address the envelope. Um, with this kind of envelope, we probably won't be able to write directly on it. We're going to have to decoupage another piece of paper with the address on it on top because otherwise the address will probably get lost in the design. And then once you're done, you'll put everything inside your envelope and glue this flap down. Now, if you're making a lot of envelopes as a gift, you can make your own envelope glue actually and just put it right here, uh, just brush it on, let it dry, and it will work just like commercial envelopes where you can moisten it and seal it. So that's an option. I will show you what this looks like after I put an address on it. If you make an envelope like this one that's highly patterned, it's good to write out the address on a piece of paper that will really stand out against the envelope. So I wrote out my address on this piece of cardstock, an orange piece of cardstock, and then I cut it out and made a fold right here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and put glue on the back of this cardstock. So I'll just use my template as a backing here and put it on there nice and thick. Again, it's going to be easiest to use a glue stick. And then I'll hook this fold that I already made around the bottom of the envelope. And post office machines should be able to read this envelope because the zip code is right here and it's nice and clearly written. Fold this over. And what you're going to do is finish it off with a stamp that complements the color here. So this is a little bit of orange, sort of a reddish orange that complements this orange color here. So I'll just put that in the corner. And of course you'll want to use appropriate postage for your envelope, four cents isn't going to send this, but the color scheme is nice. And then you can decorate your envelope as you choose to make the address stand out. But that's the gist of how you make your own envelope. Um, here are some examples of envelopes that I've made in the past. You can see that I like to get really creative with the envelopes that I make. And from a practical standpoint, I mean, sure, it's better to use commercial envelopes because it doesn't take as long, but these envelopes are very eye-catching that you can make on your own, and you really can make them out of anything. So it would be fun to experiment with, you know, different materials, um, maybe even fabric if you starched it really well. As long as it will go through the mail machine, then you can use the material. Uh, like I said, if you're using a thin paper, like magazine paper, you might go ahead and reinforce it with an envelope liner. And I will link to a tutorial on how to make an envelope liner in this video description. So if you don't know how, you can learn. But that's the gist of how you do this. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. And thank you very much for watching.